Hey tubes, we got something a little different here. See that? That's a piston. How old is that, Mike? Oh, eighty. What's that? Eighty years old. Oh yeah, at least. Easy, easy eighty years. Probably tell years tell old. tubes what it's out of. That's out of that Bessemer engine I'm working on. That ten horse Bessemer. But uh, I've got a couple videos going right now. That. And we're gonna weld this rust hole up. Let me zoom in on it. I'm gonna try to repair that piston. Yep. All right. Mike would have made a video himself, but he seems to have lost his camera. He did. He did. All right. We'll uh, we'll let him set up, and then uh, we'll watch him weld it. All righty. What's that? All right, Mike. What do you got to do to that hole there? Well, it's really the material is really thin in this pit right here right. around this hole, so you know I pretty much have to fill this area in with weld. And there's a tiny pin hole up here too that I have to take care of. Hmm. So you know I'm gonna. Do a little, a couple little tests with the MIG welder and see how it goes. I've welded a cast with the MIG before and it does come out all right. Um, so I'm gonna, you know, get the heat dialed in on a little piece of mild steel here and then, you know, do a little bit of testing on the piston itself. And if it doesn't seem to be working out, I'll have to come up with another plan. I'm not opposed to brazing it, but I just want to try the welder just for the ease. So. Yeah, I don't know what it looks like on a camera, but that's a pretty significant hole. I mean, yeah, it's, it's it. easily three sixteenths in diameter. Yeah, I, so. I would I would go quarter. Yeah, that's how bad that is. Yeah, I hope you can fix it. I'm sure you can fix it. Right, I just I hope you can fix it easily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, test. Let's see you test it. You love that little welder, don't you? No, no. <laughs> Gets the job done. <laughs> All right, testing one, two. Ready. Pretty nice. It does. That's heating up pretty good. Man, I think I'm gonna kick the heat down just to do a couple little passes on the piston so it don't blow through. Right. Let's try to get it down a little bit. Watch your eyes. Yeah. Watch your eyes. That seems to be flowing pretty well. I was going to say, it didn't sound like you're getting penetration, but uh, yeah, it, it looks it, a bit getting flowed plenty. nicely. You know, it's not a big blob up top. Yeah, so. yeah I think you're all right. I'm going to uh, do a couple little tests on the piston, see how it comes out. I might have to clean that up to get a better ground, but I'm going to try it. I don't want to ground on the side of the piston. Alrighty. Okay. Let's give it a whirl, girl. Not looking too pretty. No. So. Is it? Is you getting penetration? No, it doesn't appear that. But it. Uh, it's also the welds percolating a lot as I'm going the puddle. So mm -hmm. I think there's impurities in, in the cast iron right. that are burning off. So. I don't know. I don't think this is the way to go. No. You think braze? Yeah, braze would probably be easier. Oh. Put a little piece of filler metal in there, in the actual hole, and clean the area up nicely and just build it up. Hmm. I think that's the way to go. Maybe try, it. try it one more time. Where it's uh, a bit yeah, give it another try and if that don't work we're going to bring out the brazen rods. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it the old fashioned way. Yep. Yeah, I can tell the way it's popping and farting and shit, and it's. Yeah, uh, I'm not a fan of that. No, no. Nah. Nah, you can see, you know, all the the dark spots around it, where all the all the dirt's burning out of the piston. I can even smell it yeah. out of the old. It uh, is. Cast it's iron. just yeah. It's just a bad bad cast. Well, casting. yeah, exactly. So all right. Yeah, let's uh, clean that gonna, out and clean uh, that up. And actually, I could probably just chip that right off. Yeah. Uh, it looks like we're gonna braze it. Yep. Mike's trying it with nickel rod now.
Yeah, the, using the TIG wasn't working at all. It is cast iron, so. How's it looking? Looks alright. Better? Yeah. Yeah, it's the. Like, like nickel rod does, you know? Yeah. It's it's not like shit. Pretty. Yeah. But at least it's adhering. Alright. I'm gonna try a little bit more. Go ahead. Remember, you gotta peen that stuff, that's what he's doing. Alright, we're gonna leave him alone, let him uh, mess with that until he gets at least the hole filled up. Yep. How's it going with that nickel rod, Mike? It's working pretty well now. It's really slow, uh, really a, it's a very slow process, but it's, it's gonna come out nice. It's gonna come out thick, it'll be nice. Yeah. It's not just going to be a little yeah, thin it's layer of wet. Patch. It's actually, I'm actually building up the whatever was pitted out and musted out over the yeah. years. Yeah, it's going to be a nice repair. Just got to go around and make it smaller and smaller each time you do it. Yeah, each time you go. You know? hmm. Yeah, when you're beating on it, it sounds good. Solid. Yeah. Huh. You know, it's, you can see how thick it is there. You know, it's 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 a good yeah. three sixteenths to yeah. a quarter inch of thick metal. It's almost thicker than it was. Right. Uh, and you know what? There's not going to be much grinding either because it's almost flat. No, and you can you can see what it originally yeah. would have been. So you can really shape it. If I, you know, if I'm it, yeah, if you want to get crazy, you want to. Yeah. But I'm not <laughs> I'm not too concerned about how the the vapor flow in this engine is going to be. It's right. not going to be too critical. Okay. So at least you get back to work. Right. Yeah. Uh, watch your eyes. Watch your eyes, sir. Alright, too. Let's go see how Mike is doing. Huh. That looks pretty good to me. I don't know what it looks like on camera, but it looks pretty good out here. Yeah. Because it's pretty shiny. It's tough to tell when stuff is shiny. Yeah. It really looks good, though. That's thick, too. You know, like, there's there's no more, no more thin spots there where it was uh, yeah, right. pitted so so deeply. Hmm. That's a solid uh, that's a solid layer right there. You gonna clean it up or leave it like that? Oh, I'm gonna I'll, I'll polish up a little bit. You know, just take some of the rough edges off. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm not going to get crazy. Not, no. You know. I wouldn't mess with it too much because the rest of the pistons is pretty rough. That pretty. Yeah. It's going to do what it wants to do. It's got to make compression. That's all. That's right. That's right. Ring grooves are just fine. They're like brand yep. new. So it's it's going to run nice. Very happy. Make me proud of you, buddy. Righty. <laughs> all right. Uh, Mike's happy with that. Yeah. I don't think he's going to clean it up tonight if he does. So we'll call this a video, eh? Sounds good to me. All right. See you, Tubes. Thanks for watching. All right.